What's going on, world? It's another episode of the Walker Review. I'm here with my homie Coop DeVille. Most definitely. We're trying to get it in and get an interview done. We both been ripping around, but we finally here. Yes, sir. Uh huh. Gladiator. Money, money. What does it mean to be a gladiator? Haters talk down on me. Criticize right on me. Just based off what they see, but refuse to put trust in me. That's why I'm so stubborn, G. Cause they show no love for me. No, it's no I and we. So I only fuck with me. Appreciate you finally finding the time to meet with me as well as myself. I know things been kind of going crazy on our schedule, so I appreciate you taking the time to sit down with me, bro. Nah, man, no, ain't no problem, man. That's how it is when you're working. So understood, I, I understood. Understand. Yes, sir. But, I mean, for the fellows who don't know him, I want you to just go ahead and give a little brief bio about yourself. Like, basically, tell us who you are, man. Um, for those who don't know me, my name, my government name is Michael Cooper. I go by the name of Coop DeVille. Um, I'm from Dallas, born on the north side, moved to the south. You know what I'm saying? I graduated from South Oak Cliff High School, went to school in Oklahoma. Graduated from UAPB, Arkansas Pine Bluff. Um, and shoot, that's it. You know what I'm saying? I rap, man. I played football in the past, but that's what I do. Look, okay. Been doing a lot of things, I see that. But um, tell me, like, first off, how'd you even start rapping? Like, where'd you even get the craft and the expertise to even get into the rap game like that? Honestly, my, my older brother, Fly High, mm -hmm. he rap. You know what I'm saying? And he, he older than me. And, you know, I, I did a lot of stuff, you know, you're trying to be like your big brother, trying to be better than your big brother. Right. So, you know, that, that kind of, he kind of turned me on the football, but music was one of the things that he did as well. Right. And so, man, I just, you know, if it weren't for him, I wouldn't be doing music. I'd probably have, I'd probably be doing something different. So, definitely my brother, my blood brother too, you know, not just my homeboy, this my blood brother who came out the same moment. Right. He the one who introduced me into the game. I got you. Now that y'all both are here, do you find each other, find yourself kind of going against him, like and trying to be better than him as far as competition wise? <laughs> nah, uh, honestly, man, I, I'm my brother's biggest fan. I know he's my biggest fan. It's like, I, it get me motivated to hear him make good music. You know what I'm saying? He make good quality music. You know right. what I'm saying? But we two different kind of artists, so it's just like trying to compare. Uh, Jeezy to you know Kid Rock or something like that. They're in two different areas. Even though we 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 can mix it up and do the same things, we we going kind of two different directions with it. But that's what that's what's gonna make us so strong. Understand me. But as far as you guys are affiliated with a, a group called the Gladiators, as far as that, how did how did they even come into play? Like tell me how they even brainstorm came into play. Man, number one, like following behind my, in my brother's footsteps. It was, it was originally his idea. Mm -hmm. um, but Gladiator, man, it can mean a, a lot of different things. You know, Gladiator is, a, a, you know, it represents strength, it represents, you know, a person who gets up and goes to work nine to five, a person who, you know, an athlete who goes through workouts, you know what I'm saying? Anybody who's going through a struggle and, you know what I'm saying, you're not complaining or even if you are complaining, you're doing what you gotta do to get through it. You know what I'm saying? You're a Gladiator, so a Gladiator can be Almost anything, anything positive, you know. We're not trying to promote nothing negative, not no violence, but I mean, definitely my brother, man, he had this vision, like, man, we gladiators, bro. We're gonna do whatever it takes to, to reach the top, you know. So we're gonna, we gonna call ourselves gladiators, and we've been running with it. And ever since we've been calling ourselves gladiators, we've been, we've been running for real. Good. Things been popping for real. Okay, I know you said that you kind of idolized your brother when you got into this rap thing, like trying to follow behind his footsteps. But outside of your brother, were there any rappers or in the in, in the actual industry that you really look at and see like, oh, I like how he his style, or I like how he did certain things on a different track? Uh, I mean, I'm I'm a, I'm a fan of, <clears throat> of all good music, so of course I listen to, you know, I, basically probably all the mainstream people that you know all the songs is hot. Two mm -hmm. Chains, Rich Homie, Gates, you know, all your future, mm -hmm. you know, but um, uh, man, like. My the the type of music and the type of impact I want to have on the game is more like of a a soulful impact, like a Pimp C, like a real you know my music or uh, make make a, make a person shed a tear, or, you know what I'm saying? My music motiv motivated person, to, you know, keep pushing to go forward. Mm -hmm. You know, like I said, I make all type of, all types of music, but I mean to just name to just say one artist. I mean, I'm, I'm so well rounded myself mm -hmm. that you know I, I, I I'm influenced by. Everybody, I'm influenced by you know this interview. I'm influenced by you know the things I see on on, on, on my daily drive. So you know that's that's just basically what it is. Understand that, man. I know even being in Dallas, it's not even long. Even in the lines of just being in Dallas, 
in music alone, you find a lot of people trying to be musicians as far as rappers, singers, um, high quality musicians. How do you feel like the rap game is going as far as in the Dallas area? Because I know we've had things like the Wave of Dallas and people just really trying to put their skills out there on a higher pedestal. Like, How do you feel like the rap game is going in general? Man, the rap game in Dallas is, man, like real talk, we finna take some things off. Like, we, we, we finally getting back to, you know, working together. And, and you know, we, we not, we, we not all pulling at one thing, we all putting into one thing now. So, you know, even though we move in different groups, you know, we moving together. Cause we all from Dallas, so we all putting on for the city, just like Atlanta putting on Cali, Florida, New York. You know, like we trying to bring this Houston. Mm -hmm. You know, it's a whole lot of talent right here. Right. You know what I'm saying? And, and it's, it's finna start getting exposed on the regular. I got so, you. Yeah, Dallas. The, the, the Dallas music market is definitely in the mix. We've been on the rise. Now we in the mix, and we on the verge to take some off. Well, if you hinted on it earlier about how you try to have a soulful Pimp C type of feel when you get behind the mic, but as far as every time you step behind the mic, what's the message that you're trying to broadcast to your audience, broadcast to your viewers? That I'm real, you know, that, that I go through the same things that, you know, everybody else goes through, you know. A lot of times as an artist, we always try to portray this image, you know, big money, fast cars, clothes, females, whatever. But you know, and, and at times I, I I'm in the in the mix of that lifestyle. But I just wanna, I'm just really relaying my life over the beat. You know what I'm saying? Through music to to my fans or to my listeners. You know what I'm saying? Um, like I just I just I just I just do me, bro. You know what I'm saying? It's, it's really no specific. But I listen when I when I think about Pimp C, U G K, they was on the beat and they did them. You know what I'm saying? When I think about outcasts, you know what I'm saying? They did them. They were outcasts, like for real, for real. Like yeah. people looked at them crazy. When I think of Nas, when I think of, you know, even Pac. Pac was my, one of my brother's favorite rappers, Big. You know what I'm saying? <clears throat> Scarface, uh, Ghetto Boys. You know what I'm saying? Them type of people, bro. They, they, those songs. You know what I'm saying? Still jam now, like, like they the first, first time you ever heard them. You know what I'm saying? That's the type of effect that I want to have on music. I'm not just trying to do this for, for now. Now the things that can continue to go for you, like what are some things that you're working on right now that's kind of under the works, kind of in the making that you're trying to use to basically get out there even more as well as uh, wider your viewers and your followers? Uh, well, right now, uh, me and my brother, we got this package. We got this uh, six CD EP going. Okay. Um, we got six singles on it, but we got the two main singles, F You Haters. It's a solo single by my brother. Fool, and then you got uh, Shape, that's like the number one that's going in all the club. Like real talk, if you go to the club in Dallas, you're gonna hear it. You know? um, those are two singles that we running with, and that's what we promoting, that's what we getting the most pub behind, that's what we getting calls behind, you know, that's what's really making noise. So these are two singles we're running with. I got a mixtape coming soon. I haven't officially came up with a title with it yet, but. It'll be here at the end of October, and then my brother got a uh, mixtape called uh, Spirit of the Underdog. Mm -hmm. That's uh, that's that's really ready to drop any day. So I feel that, man. It's always good to hear about progression as far as in the Dallas area, man. Yeah. But I want to appreciate you for being able to sit down with me, and I appreciate y'all, the viewers, for fucking with me at the Walking Review. Y'all be be sure to uh, subscribe for the YouTube page, bro. Just go in and type in the Walking Review at YouTube, bro, so you can stay up to date with all the videos that we have going. Until next time, y'all, we got big things coming. I'm gonna see you when I see you. Alright. Alright. RP Lance Lim. Yes, sir. Appreciate it, homie. Hey, let me change your mind frame. In case you didn't think I was cold, I'm cut from a different mold. That trend you follow was old, despite what you have been told. I run the city. Relevant because I'm committed. Confident of just a speedy. Who she? That's the smell of a young king. Bouncing around the town, shining bright, but with no bling. Most you niggas fall in love with chicks, cause her nose rings. Fell in love with mine, cause she fine and she knows things. Front line with it while you sit around hoping. Saying if you could, then you would. So let's get it understood. Spent that time on my craft, that's what made me so damn good. I'm an underground. Ground king, yeah, my diamonds gets the wood. I stay posted like a billboard. Chillin', dropping hits, that shit still a top billboard. Steel board, then turn me up, you can feel more. You think I'm worried about the star? Look at the final score. Kenzie Jean, I door. You hear me? For real, that's how we do that. Once again, man, it's cool to be checking in. Uh, 
Devil Texas stand the gladiator music, you know what I'm saying? Remember Money Mind, Money Mind the Mafia was telling them, so it's real, you know that. But uh man it's like it's time to take some money, man. Dallas Texas, man, we need to stand up. We need to stop out there. Oh, he say, she say, we say, we need to go and get this thing together for real. Cause, uh, I ain't been, I ain't, you know, I don't know everything and I ain't seen it all, but you know, I know, I know a few things from my experiences. Since I've been doing music, I noticed it, you know what I'm saying? And I humble myself and work for somebody else, you know what I'm saying? And, you know, did some things for somebody else that I would do for myself, you know what I'm saying? I received blessings, you know what I'm saying? Number one, the only reason, the only way to even receive blessings, you know, is knowing God. So you gotta have to establish a relationship with God, you gotta know that. Prayer, prayer changes, prayer is real. You gotta talk to Jesus, you gotta confess the love of God, you know what I'm saying? It's real. I forget somebody from there. If you see this one, you fool with me, shout out to you for real.